Sessions SA with the Dandies. Hi. Guys. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Um, I'm Dennis, I play drums. Cool. I'm Bam, I do backer vocals. And I'm Kyle and I do the rest. <laughs> All right, cool. I play sting and I play guitar and bass at the same time. I, I kind of realized that the moment you guys start tuning, it's so different, it's so unique, and that's a compliment in itself that you find a band that sounds unique. Thank you. Um, that people kind of go, who's that? And everybody wants to see you. And no matter where they're sitting in the vicinity of the venue, if they can hear you, they want to see you guys. And then you don't disappoint live. Like, where do you guys get the yeah, energy? But we, because we're two beats, um, so the rhythm or the, the beats have to be super tight. And then the guitars, the, if either of us mess up, you hear it. It's, yeah. it's bad. So we have to make sure if you're going to put on a show that's as lively as ours and you keep going that you have enough energy to put on the show and still to play your instrument properly yeah. to nail the vocals. To get. So we exercise as much as we can. Um, like I said, mostly cardio. Tinas, I know, does a lot of jogging and stuff now as well. Yeah, the only time I wear shoes. So, Bam, how do you fit into the whole setup here? No, uh, I've been a big fan. Music, music guys from Pottersfield. Uh, that's how I met them. They started a band, their sounds were just sick, so I became a fan and then uh, got up on stage with Carl, just jammed out, and uh, the energy was just great. And you know, the, the dynamic between the two of you guys um, it is quite interesting. Like, you guys are what we call professional musicians these days. Like, you're going on the road, that's all you do now. You well, don't have day jobs. Full-time. Full yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
what are you guys looking at in the future? Like future plans? What's happening? Where are you guys going? Are we looking to release the next album again? Oh, so nice. Yeah, hoping for March. We try. We're doing this album on our own. Oh, okay. So recording it myself, everything. Production, everything. Product. That works. Insane, yeah. So it yeah. might take a bit longer. Yeah. Um, but we don't. We won't. Don't want to put out something substandard. Yeah. And yeah. also, it's a lot of trying a lot of new stuff structurally. Yeah. Um, one of the last things I wanted to ask, your last album you released digitally. Mm. You know, I know it's a, it's a weird age for musicians because of downloads and all that stuff and everybody complains about it. I think it's kind of cool that you can kind of put your stuff out there and have it in the world yeah. almost instantly. Um, what's the difference between the first album and the second album in that regard? Like, um, so the first album, both albums basically we just gave away. In our genre, um, it's not that much radio play and that kind of stuff or music sales in general yeah. so we've decided or we, i decided i don't want to say it was we it was me i decided to give away all that music and they did that's cool um, so we're going to we'll get the music out get the message out get it to people then they'll come to the live shows live shows is where we make the most of our money probably yeah. Because we give away our music. Also, <laughs> if you want, if you want to get our album, you yes. can. Um, I think my number is on our Facebook page. You can send us a WhatsApp, or you can send us a Facebook message, and I'll WhatsApp the album straight to you, to your phone. And we wanted to do something fresh for the people in the couch session. Don't want you guys just to see something that we've already done. Maybe it'll be a bit loose, but it'll be something new. Awesome, man! Thank right. you so much, guys.